Welcome to TacosandGeeks.com. Justin here with Sean, and today we're going to be talking more episodes for Essential Anime, and this one is episode 69, and today we're going to be talking about anime. I should have actually talked about in the early stages of Essential Anime because it's such a good one, and today we're going to be talking about Here is Greenwood. As you can see, this VHS tape right here provided by Sean. I'll, we'll talk about the little story, how he got this in a bit. But as always, I do give you a brief synopsis. So without further ado, here we go. Meet Kazuwa. He's just a regular teenager who wants to live a normal, peaceful life. But when his first love marries his older brother and moves into their house, Kazuwa decides that he has to move out to preserve his sanity. Things go from bad to worse when he discovers that he's been assigned to the strangest dorm on campus, an asylum called Greenwood, where all the weirdos, outcasts, and lunatics at this prestigious high school uh, experience life at Greenwood where nothing is ever as it seems especially the people and there's so much reasons why this is essential but first before i get into it first i want sean to talk a little bit about how he obtained this uh this classic vhs and for the younger audience out there this right here is what we used to use to watch anime this is what we used to use to watch tons and tons of tv tv shows movies this is what we call the vhs tape where we put it into a vcr so my hand is bad boy to sean and he'll talk about a little bit about how he got into greenwood and why did he get this vhs tape and why does he still have it to this day okay so we're gonna talk about how i got this so basically i used to work in blockbuster video very long time ago like those of you who don't know what Blockbuster was, it was uh, possibly the Gen X's go-to place when we wanted videos. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, I, you know, I got a job there. It was cool or whatever. And, you know, like, we used to get uh, five free rentals. Or it might have been ten. But let's keep it at five. I think it was five free rentals a week. And, you know, we had favorites. So, you know, after you watch just about everything you could possibly watch – in there like i decided like hey i'm going to start running anime since we started getting anime and you know like i happened to pick this up i had i'd watch everything from akira to like uh demon city to everything else so i decided you know let me watch something i've never seen before so there's here is greenwood and i was like i don't care it's like i had the weekend off I'll, if i don't like it i always pop by the store and give it back and get something else or just tell my boss like yeah i don't like this like let me pick something else so I picked it up and the first episode was actually fucking funny and it was good. And I was just like, this is cool. So we only had two volumes of it. And at the time, the VHS tapes only had like three or four episodes on yeah. this. So I had to, you know, I was just like, how am I going to see this? So I went through our catalog and I found out, oh, they had volume two, three, four, and five. So I went in there and like, you know, at the time, my bosses didn't ask any questions when we ordered stuff. <laughs> so I just started ordering volumes. So I ordered a bunch of volumes. We put it out. I rented it. And then uh, eventually, like, as our store was closing, we were getting rid of the stuff. So I was just like, oh, yo, I'm taking these. I was like, if we're going to get rid of them anyway, I'm going to take them. So I ended up getting the volumes of Here's Greenwood. Now, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know, like, people actually got into it until Justin tells me, like, hey, yo, Here's Greenwood is so good. Like. I was like, yeah, really? I have volumes of this on um, VHS. And, you know, like, we talked about it, but then, you know, up until this year, actually to this day when he said, I'm doing Essential Anime on here is Greenwood, I was like, I think I have the VHS somewhere in my house. So I just went, I looked for it, and here we go. Here's the VHS. <laughs> so. and, 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 and the reason why this is such an Essential Anime is, one, it, it's one of those animes where, I mean, for those who, for the younger generation, especially Ashley's generation, you had anime such as Orin High School Host Club, where you know, or, or other slice of life that takes place within a school or, or or type of dorm. This here is Greenwood is one of those animes, folks, where it really kind of I will say, not saying it's very Orin s, but it, you could say it's really the blueprint for a lot of those high school dorm college dorm type of animes and the fact that way the the story is set up with Kazuha who's actually in love with 
this girl and his brother actually ends up marrying her and he can't take it. Like he cannot stand the sight of his brother being this romantic with the girl that he secretly loves. So he says, you know what? I got to get away from here on some real Ted Mosby ness. For those who understand that reference, I have to go like when Ted was going to leave Chicago, when Barney was marrying Robin, similar situation where he is going to Greenwood and things just get crazy. He is in the most insane dorm with the most insane cast of characters that you can even think of. He ends up with this roommate, Shun, who we all thought originally was a girl. Then you come to find out, spoiler alert, that Shun is just a man that has a lot of feminine features. And at the time, it was just such a groundbreaking thing to see. And just it's just from the animation and the English dub is actually really some stellar performances from English dub to Japanese dub. And just the way the stories were structured, too, because each episode is a crazy situation from from the life that he's doing, because he just wanted to be at peace. He just wanted to have a normal life. And he ends up in this dorm where it's just the most craziest cast of characters that you could think of think of something like real world like you put all these people together and everybody has very dis- different personalities very different ways of doing things and you all come to a head so definitely i will say you have to check this out if you can able to find it i mean i don't even think i have to see if you can actually pick this up on blu-ray or, or, or dvd because i think it's a one of those very rare animes to find i mean for the fact that sean still has this gem here on VHS should tell you a testament of how good this thing is, man, because this is a really good anime, but you definitely have to check out here is Greenwood. Um, I'm gonna have Sean say a couple of words of what he thought about it. And, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, add this to your collection. Yeah. So I actually got hooked on it just because of like the comedic aspect of the show. Uh, I thought it was very interesting. It was different because I was really used to just uh, slash and action anime, you know, like blood, everybody getting knocked around and then, you know, the hero wins at the end. So I was kind of like, okay, this is, this is a cool anime to watch. Just, it was like like a real slice of life anime. Um, And I was just like, okay, this is cool. I deeply enjoyed it. Enjoyed it enough where I ordered three or four more volumes. And I mean, I'm looking at the video and I'm realizing like I ordered this video in 1998 and some of y'all weren't even <laughs> live. Yeah. Like some of y'all watching anime now is like 1998. Jesus. Like, like how old like, are you? guys? Yeah. Like, so, I mean, it was, it was definitely a great pickup and I had no issues whatsoever with the, you know, with the anime and how it was styled and any of the stories I, like this was just such a really good anime. Um, but that's just my take on it. And I mean, I don't think I got to see this anime to its end. I think what I did was I saw enough of the anime and then I, uh, kind of forgot about it. You know, life happens, you know, um, I started hanging out more and, you know, but I do come back to this anime every once in a while. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure if I look it up on Amazon, I'm pretty sure I can find it somewhere on Amazon and we can see what we find. But, um, I'm, you know, I enjoy this. If you really do like, older anime and something like all the animes that Justin mentioned before, uh, this will probably be something you'd want in your collection to check out. Yeah, so. if you, like if you've been checking all 69 episodes, we've been covering from the eighties to early nineties, obviously Akira, ghost in the shell, demon city, uh, wicked city. I mean, there's just wind of amnesia. There's various, yeah. various animes that you can definitely catch. I'm surprised that this one hasn't been picked up yet on Amazon or Freebie because Freebie has a lot of the old school anime, even Retro Crush. So definitely pick up here is Greenwood. And we're going to wrap this episode up of Essential Anime. This is Justin and Sean from Geeks.com. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're watching this on YouTube. Helps out the algorithm as well. And also hit that like button. If you're watching this on Geeks.com, by all means, browse our website. Tons of stuff that you can see there from our coverage from Toy Fair, New York Comic Con, of course, our Essential Animes, editorials, articles. And once again, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to check out our weekly WWE 2K show, UWL, and we're going to say later days. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace, love, and happiness. Laters.